Its Showtime, formerly known as Showtime and Magpasakat, is a Philippine noontime variety show that premiered on October 24, 2009, on ABS-CBN. The show broadcasts from the ABS-CBN studios at the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Center in Quezon City. The show airs weekdays from 12.15 p.m. to 3.45 p.m., Saturdays from 11.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., with an encore telecast on Jeepney TV every Mondays to Saturdays from 8.15 p.m. to 11 p.m. starting on June 11. The show also broadcast worldwide through TFC or known as the Filipino Channel and live streaming online on YouTube via its channel Showtime Online Universe. It's Showtime is the second live entertainment program in the Philippines to be broadcast in high definition, after ASAP, sports programs and various shows. It's Showtime is also ABS-CBN's longest-running daily noontime variety show after overtaking the length of MTB 1998 on its eighth anniversary in 2017. History As Showtime On October 24, 2009, Showtime premiered as a morning competition program, airing before the network's noontime shows, and served as the replacement for Pilipinas, Game Ka Na Ba, following its successful eight-year run. The original cast consisted of V. Hong Navarro, Ann Curtis, Kim Atienza, Juggs Hugueda, Teddy Corpus, and Vice Ganda as the permanent judge. During the third season, the show added previously evicted judges Billy Crawford and Carol as hosts. In its first four seasons Showtime's competition format was that three groups, each made up of two to twenty-five members with no age limit, perform a single performance, either a song and or dance number. After the group's performance, the judges give a collective yes or no to the group. If the judges give a yes the group is considered part of the main contest, with the judges' scores of the group's performance included in the calculation of the winner. A. No. Means exclusion of the group from the main contest. This segment was removed during Season 2. In Season 3, during the February 16, 2011, episode the segment returned, but with no random selection. Instead the group automatically performs on stage. The group with the highest average score from the judges wins and proceeds to the weekly finals. All winners throughout the whole week perform in the weekly finals. Whoever wins in the weekly finals gets the chance to compete in the monthly finals. Lastly, all the monthly finalists compete in the season's grand finals. Aside from the talent competition, Showtime also aired quick, short-term segments that offer cash prizes to the studio audience. On January 1, 2011, the show was moved to the noontime slot temporarily. It returned to its original time slot on February 12, 2011, to give way for Happy Yippee Yahi. On January 28, 2012, the show aired a special episode to end its two-year competition format as Showtime, and ended with an impartial farewell. On February 6, 2012, it is reformatted as a noontime variety show. Its Showtime was also aired previously on Studio 23 now ABS-CBN Sports and Action and CGTV's website during its relaunch week. As its Showtime Showtime ended its pre-noontime slot run on January 28, 2012, to prepare for a reformat as a noontime variety show which premiered on February 6, 2012, in its new time slot, 11.30 a.m., replacing former noontime program Happy Yippee Yahi. The show retained all of its hosts, including Vice Ganda, while adding former judges Jong Hilario, Ryan Bang and Colleen Garcia. Eric Tai was also added as a new host during the pilot episode. Its Showtime aired new long-term segments, while the competitive format returned once again as one of its segments. The competitive format was used for one final season, Season 5. To cater to the entire family audience, a new competition called Bitta Capamilia was introduced on April 30, 2012, as Season 6. Throughout the run of Bitta Capamilia, its Showtime added Joy Rendon May 19, 2012, and Red Bustamante October 27, 2012, as part of the cast. Amy Perez and Mariel Rodriguez were added to the show's main hosts on January 2, 2016, after guest co-hosting in December 2015. 
Colleen Garcia was dropped from the program because of her acting career and was briefly replaced by Joey Marquez. Meanwhile, Eric Eruption Ty left the show to focus on his sports career and married life. Jong Hilario temporarily left the show on March 23, 2016 to run for councillor in Makati City. He reprised his hosting duties on May 10, 2016. On May 13, 2017, the show announced that James Reed and Nadine Luster were added to the show as co-hosts for a brief period of time. Mariel Rodriguez returned on June 18, 2018 after a two-year-long break. In October 2018, its Showtime launched its own YouTube channel Showtime Online Universe. Three digital programs premiered on the channel, and I thank you with Miss Q and A grand winner Juliana Periskova Segovia, hashtag roadtrip with hashtag members, and Donna what to do with funny one grand winner Donna Cariaga. Showtime Online Universe is also the home to the online show Showtime Online. Topic. Hosts Vice Ganda 2009 present V Hong Navarro 2009 present Teddy Corpus 2009 present Jugs Hugueda 2009 present Billy Crawford 2011 present on hiatus Carol 2011 present Jong Hilario 2012 present Ryan Bang 2012 present Amy Perez 2016 present Mariel Rodriguez 2016 2018 present Topic Show segments Topic Current segments Topic Miss Q&A This segment, derived from the question and answer segments of beauty pageants, is a pageant for women, gays and transwomen. The segment focuses not on the beauty of the candidates but for their wit in answering questions. Three candidates compete for the crown as Miss Q&A for three rounds. The competition starts as three to four candidates enter the stage one by one. As the candidates walk on the stage, the hosts gives a short background about the candidates such as educational background, occupation, etc. The candidates are given the chance to introduce themselves and give comedic proverbs which they believe in. This is very common to any gay beauty pageants throughout the Philippines. In season 2, the candidate with the best introduction wins P5000. In the first round, the candidates must answer trivial questions. The first two or three candidates to answer one question correctly advance to the next round. In season two, the first two or three candidates with the most number of correct answers will proceed to the next round. In the second round, the remaining candidates are asked with outrageous questions from a bowl of questions. Example, if there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, how many grams are there in an Instagram? The candidate who gave the wittiest Answer, according to a panel of judges, will be declared the daily winner and advance to the final round. In the final round, the daily winner will face the reigning Miss Q&A in this round. A single, serious question sometimes about recent events and social issues are asked to both contenders. The winner will be declared through the average score of the panel of judges. If the winner is the daily winner, she will be the new reigning Miss Q&A. If the reigning Miss Q&A managed to defend the title, an additional crown is added. The longer the reigning Miss Q&A defend the title, the more crowns are added. If the reigning Miss Q&A manage to defend her title three times, she will advance to the semi-finals. If she manage to defend ten times, she will advance to the grand finals without going through the semi-finals and will be added to the Hall of Fame. If the reigning Miss Q&A advances to the Hall of Fame and the grand finals, the crown is now vacant. When the crown is vacant, four candidates will compete instead of three and the last candidate standing after the three rounds shall be the new Miss Q&A. On June 30, 2018, Juliana Periscova Segovia was named as the first Miss Q&A 2018. While Matrica May Centino and Lars Pacheco are first and second runner-ups, respectively. Tawag Ng Dubbed as 
your all-time favorite search for outstanding amateur talents. To Wag Ingting Halen is an amateur singing competition currently airing its third regular season. This is the second revival of the singing competition, which has aired previously on ABS CBN in 1953 and 1987 respectively. The competition is open to Filipino contenders from Metro Manila, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Topic: Singing Mo 2. A musical sing-along segment where the person sings an original song at the live music video. Topic: Santa Babies. Two groups of children showcase their talents and dance to famous Christmas songs. Topic: Seasonal segments. Topic: It's Showtime Holy Week special. Topic: Magpasakat. Magpasakat is an annual talent competition for the It's Showtime hosts held a week before the show's anniversary, October 23. The hosts perform from Monday to Friday, with the awarding of winners on Saturday. The performances are evaluated by a special panel of judges. The first three places receive a cash prize to be donated to a chosen charity. So far, Jugs Hugueta and Teddy Corpus have the most number of wins, five wins, and the most consecutive wins, three wins, 2013 to 2015. Topic: Reception. Topic: Ratings. Showtime debuted on its pre-noontime slot on October 24, 2009 with a 14% national TV rating based on Kantar Media Philippines. Its immense popularity ended CIS's dominance on its timeslot. GMA Network replaced CIS with Diz Is It, a competition similar to Showtime, but it was cancelled after five months. The show's first grand finals held on July 24, 2010 received a 35% national TV rating, beating the 8.9% rating of Diz Is It, and 13.7% of Eat Bulaga. The second grand finals held on December 18, 2010 scored a 23.4% national TV rating against Eat Bulaga, S17.4%. The third grand finals held on May 14, 2011 delivered a rating of 21.3% versus Eat Bulaga, S17%. Its Showtime debuted on its noontime slot on February 6, 2012 with a 13.6% national rating. The episode received an overall 16.3% rating when the viewership numbers from Studio 23 were added. Initially placing behind Eat Bulaga, the show's rating peaked to a 20.9% national rating during the final of the Bida Capamilia segment and its third anniversary weeklong celebration. The final of the Colocalique segment garnered a 26.8% national TV rating on June 2, 2013, leaving Eat Bulaga and Wowowili with 13.2% and 2.8% ratings, respectively. The final of the segment's second iteration posted a 21.6% national TV rating, once again beating Eat Bulaga, S15.8% and Wowowili's 2.6%. Its showtime continued its dominance in the noontime slot with its fourth anniversary week special held from October 21 to 26, 2013. The program faced heavy competition in 2015, with its sixth anniversary special only scored a 10.2% national TV rating, four times behind its its rival, its Showtime quickly regained its prominence on its timeslot when it debuted to Wag Ingting Halen in 2016. The program garnered a 33.6% national TV rating during the singing competition's first grand finals. To Wag Ingting Halen continued its winning streak during its second season finale when it posted a national TV rating of 31% against Eat Bulaga, S9.5%. Its Showtime topped the ratings game once again during Miss Q and A's Grand Finals on June 30, 2018 with a national TV rating of 28.4% versus Eat Bulaga, S11.1%. Topic. 
Topic: Controversies. Topic: MTRCB suspension. Showtime was suspended by the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board (MTRCB) for 20 days. This was due to comments uttered by guest judge Rosanna Roses against certain groups, especially teachers, heard live on January 7, 2010. As a form of self-regulation, ABS-CBN relieved Roses of her jury duty, but a suspension was still served against the show effective January 11, 2010. It returned on February 1. In the meantime, a placeholder show called Magpasicat took over Showtime's timeslot. The show had essentially the same format as with Showtime, except that the competing groups were composed of celebrities. However, the suspension period lasted for only six days after the Court of Appeals issued a 60-day temporary restraining order against the MTRCB on January 15, 2010. The issuance of the order, and therefore the return of Showtime was announced later on Magpasicat. On March 26, 2010, MTRCB ordered a total one-month suspension of the program because of the incident, including the replacement Magpasicat. The MTRCB also directed the filing of criminal charges against Florida Tan, ABS-CBN Vice President for Programming, and other officers responsible for the violation. Bong Osorio, head of ABS-CBN's corporate communications said that the suspension was not yet final and that they were seeking appeal before the office of the president. However the variety show won the case because the MTRCB had not presented new arguments that would justify a reversal of its previous resolution. Topic. Pastela's girl. Controversy. Nason Ka Mr. Pastelas? was a daily reality dating game serial which drew the ire of netizens and the women's group Gabriella. Because of various complaints from online social networking sites, MTRCB summoned the show's executives to discuss the segment. After a thorough investigation, MTRCB imposed self-regulation on its showtime because of the segment. Topic. Showtime, the album A self-debut album composed of five music tracks featuring the Showtime hosts. Hari Ng Dance Floor, V. Hong Navarro. Magpasakat, Teddy Corpus. Madling People, song created by DJ M.O.D. Showtime theme, Showtime cast. We'll get there. Ann Curtis. Showtime theme. Showtime cast. Topic. Tours In 2010, Showtime held live shows from February 1 to 6 in Cebu. Voting for judges was suspended as Sharon Regis and Gab Valenciano stepped in as special judges. The program also had a special episode featuring highlights from the One Capamilia Go event at the Great America in Santa Clara, California which took place on September 12, 2010. The special episode aired on October 7, 2010, exclusively on the Filipino channel. The special judges consisted of Poo, Angelica Panganaban, Michael Coppin, Gelo of Barangay USA and Vice Ganda. In 2011, Showtime visited Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. In 2013, the It's Showtime hosts performed in Honolulu, Hawaii for their day-long concert tour. In 2014, the It's Showtime hosts performed in Canada as a part of the program's fifth anniversary celebration. In 2015, It's Showtime kicked off its month-long, sixth anniversary celebration at the Araneta Coliseum. The program also toured at the Alante Sports Arena in Binyan, Laguna and Hoops Dome in Cebu. In 2018, its Showtime hosts and performers while having their U.S. tour was recently held in California last July 28-29. Accolades See also List of programs broadcast by ABS-CBN